If you enjoy exercising with me, you may like to know about these other exercise tapes I've made with BBC Video. Apart from the other titles in the Top to Toe series, there's my Whole Body Program, Whole Body Program 2, Seven Day Workout, and the BBC Pregnancy and Postnatal Exercise Video. So whatever your reason for wanting to exercise, I'm sure there's something to suit you. Welcome to this video from my Top to Toe collection, which I've specifically designed to improve your bust line and the overall shape and posture of the upper body. It's important to realize that there aren't any muscles in the breasts themselves, but by strengthening the muscles that surround the chest area, we can dramatically improve the body's natural bra. If you want to see these muscles in action, do this exercise in front of a mirror sometime when you're not wearing any clothes and just squeeze and actually see the muscles working around here. In this video, I've included some exercises for the upper back and shoulders, which are essential for correct posture. And we'll also be improving the muscle tone of the upper arms to try and get rid of any flabby bits. But before we begin our workout, I'd like you to have handy a firm cushion like this one, or better still, a ball like this one. And finally, don't worry if you can't complete all the exercises the first few times. If your muscles are really tired and you feel you've done enough, just fast forward the tape to the stretch section at the very end of the tape. Remember, it's essential to stretch the muscles we've been working, and as you continue to progress, you'll find that you can complete the whole program. Well, let's get started and march it out. Tummy pulled in, and we're going to walk forward. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Back, two, three, four. Swing the arms, and back, and again, and back. Last time. Now, on the spot, hand roll the shoulders. Just touch one foot to the other. Now bows and arrows, feet apart, and pull this elbow back. Six, seven, now kick behind, pull the drawers out with your hands. Two more. Now double ones. Two, one, two, and again. We're going to walk forward again. One, two, three, four, back. Forward and back and again and back last time back. now stepping again bigger shoulders really move that arm and both and arrows really pull it back imagine you've really got a bow and arrow in your hands two more now knee lifts Press down, press, now double ones, one, two, press down, one, two, one, two, now squat, down, tuck your bottom under, down, 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 knees go over the feet, now round, round, Keep your shoulders still as you do it. Just move the hips. Round, down, down, round, down, down, round, round. Now side bends. Down. Keep your bottom tucked under as you do it. Make sure you curve, not twist. Two more. And we're going to march on the spot. Here we go. And Go forward, one, two, three, four, back, two, three, four, forward, two, three, four, back, two, three, again, last time, one, two, back, two, 
Now just big circles with the arms. Round, 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 round. Now bows and arrows to the end. Really pull that arm back. And relax, well done. Now bring your feet together and we're going to bend our knees and roll our hands. Now, step. Keep this foot fairly anchored onto the floor. Take your hands onto your hips. Now, go into a breaststroke. Round, round. Back to the centre. And to the other side, and step across. Hands on your hips. Forward. One more. And then we're going to rest rope again. Round. And round. Round. Last one. Centre. Down. Down. Tuck your bottom under when you do this. Get ready to go to the other side again. So forward. Now lift this foot slightly this time. Go. Now, breaststroke. Slightly bigger than last time. Tummy pulled in all the time. Nice big movement with the arms. Centre. Down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And last one to the other side. Round. And bring this foot up a bit more. And up. Now, arms. Nice and big breaststroke. Last one, centre, down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and other side. Now lift this leg a bit more this time. One more, then we're going to breaststroke even higher. Rounds and rounds. Round, when you're reaching up, last one. Centre, down, down. We pulled in all the time. Other side, across. Now bring this leg up a bit more. Up, up. One more. Then big breast strokes. Round. Lovely big circle. Round. Centre. Down. Two, three, four. Now take your feet comfortably apart and do a lovely big circle with your hands. A really lovely stretch. It feels really good to do this. Come down and then take your hands forward. Just push your hands forward and feel the stretch across your back. It feels wonderful. And relax. Now take your hands behind and extend them behind you as far as you can, as high as you can. Don't slump forward. Feel the stretch across your chest and rest. Now bring your arm across and ease the arm across you. Don't hold on to the elbow bony bit, hold on to the fleshy bit. So ease it across. Hold it there and rest. Now come up with the shoulders towards your ears and then ease your shoulders down as far as they'll go. And then hand on your hip, bring your hand up and aim your hand towards the corner of the room. Feel the stretch all the way down here. Come up, other side, and just gently over, reaching across. Feel the stretch. It feels delightful. And relax. Well done. Now we're going to do an exercise that really tones up the bust line. So start off with your feet apart and just get into the movement by taking your feet across. And across and across and across. Last one. Now we're going to bring an arm in. Across. Now try and keep the elbow at shoulder level and really put some force into it. Then really squeeze and push and squeeze. Elbow at shoulder level, put lots of effort. Now both together, squeeze, bend the knees and squeeze. Bring the elbows in together, they should be meeting in the centre and squeeze. Bottom tucked under, squeeze. two more. Now we're going down and down, squeeze across you. 
down. Really put every effort in. Now both together and squeeze down. Elbows in towards your side. And actually bring your elbows so they touch. Squeeze. It's a lot of effort, but it's worth it. Really use those muscles. Squeeze. Squeeze. Now go across at shoulder level. And across. Can you imagine actually trying to push something out of the way. And push. Push. Push and push. Both together at shoulder level. Bring the elbows in together. The meet and touch. And squeeze. Bottom tucked under. Squeeze. 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 Now take it down and squeeze. Really put the effort in. The effort will pay off. You'll have a lovely naturally supported bus line if you carry on doing these and down last one both together down down bring the elbows together it's very tempting to forget and just bring them in but they must touch and squeeze so now take it across at shoulder level And imagine you're squeezing all the air out of the ball. So squeeze every bit of air that you can. Really put some effort into it. Bottom tucked under all the while, of course. And squeeze. And squeeze. And squeeze. And go down. Down. And down. Bring the elbow across you. And down. And squeeze. And squeeze. It's really quite hard work. Squeeze. Both together and in. In. And squeeze. Squeeze. Elbows touch, of course. Squeeze. Squeeze. So imagine the pivot being done to you now, so carry on. And at shoulder level, we nearly finished. And across. And across. And across. And push. Squeeze and push. Across and across and across. Well done. And now we're going to go onto the floor for some floor exercises. Sit on a mat or if you're on a carpet, then obviously you don't need one. Sit cross-legged. Now I want you to imagine that you've actually attached your elbows to your side. Palms facing upward and thumbs out, making a fist. Now we're going to rotate our shoulders back. So round. And round, and round. Just imagine there's the safety pin attaching your elbows to your side so you really can't move them away. And do this rotation movement. And back, and back. It's giving you a nice, strong upper back, this exercise, which is important for our posture. And if we're going to work hard to have a nice bust line, then obviously having a good posture is all important. And round. One more time. And round. Now, you're going to need a firm cushion or a ball. So lie down on the floor and place the ball between your elbows and raise your elbows up so that your elbows are above your shoulder line. And we're going to squeeze and squeeze and squeeze now this is working the muscle the main muscle that we want to work when we want a better bust line so this is an all-important exercise and as I say if you haven't got a ball then use a firm cushion and that will do the job it's just that you need something to resist against to make sure that that muscle really works a little bit harder and really squeeze, pull your tummy in and your spine right down into the floor with every squeeze that you make. So squeeze. 
should be quite hard work. And relax. And sit up. We don't need the ball anymore. And I'm going to use a couple of weights for these arm exercises, but a couple of cans of baked beans would do the job just as well. So bring the arm up. Now, the important thing here is to, again, imagine that your arm is attached to your side. It's really important to keep this position here, bringing up straight in front of you. And this is actually working the fronts of the arms, which helps us to have stronger arms for everyday life, like carrying the shopping and things like that. So bring them up, a quite definite move. Just one more each arm. Now bring your arms up here, and we're going to take the weights behind us, so out, out, elbows back as far as you can and straighten the arm out and this is working that horrible bit at the back of the arm which often gets so flabby with women, it's not fair, it doesn't seem to happen with men, but just straighten the arm out and feel the muscle at the back of the arm as we shorten it by taking the weight backwards. And back, one more with each arm. Now come forward and forward. Now again, remember to fasten your elbows to the side of your body and bring that weight up and up and up. Sit up as straight as you can. That's a bit of an exercise in itself. And bring it up. Feel the muscle in front of your arm working as you raise the weight. Using something like a baked beans can is really a very useful way of making this exercise even more effective. Carry on. One more with each hand. And we're going back again. Bring the weights up here, elbows back. Out, out, out. And remember to take it straight back and not out to the side. Back, 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 back. The more you do it, the more you can actually feel it at the back of your arm. And rest. Well done. Move your weights completely out of the way and lie down on your tummy. Now we want the body to be in a completely straight line and take your arms straight ahead of you. Now what we're going to do here is raise alternate arms but we're just going to raise it to just above head level that's all. Okay here we go. Up, down, up, down. This is an exercise for the shoulders. And up, down, up, down. Raise. Make sure you keep your hips flat on the floor and don't actually tilt your body to one side too much. Keep it nice and straight. Just raising your hands not too far. Up. If you can't do too many, just start off with one or two and gradually. As you get stronger, you'll be able to do more. Two more. One, two, that's it. Now take your elbows out to the side. Your elbows should be level with your shoulders. Now I want you to bring your hands up, chin on the floor, this is quite difficult, but I want you to try and get your shoulder blades together behind you. And so bring your arms your elbows and your hands as far back as you can. So back. Now this is for the upper back. It's a good exercise. It gives us a stronger back and it helps us with our general sort of line around our upper body. So it's an important one. Down. Up. It's hard work so only do as many as you can. I don't expect you to do them all first time. Up. And remember, try and bring those hands back as far as you can. And two more. 
and rest. Now we're going to roll over onto our back. Now we're going to do an exercise for our chest again. So knees bent, tummy pulled right in, back nice and flat. Now place your elbows together, hands straight ahead, and your elbows should be above your shoulders. Now what I want you to do is imagine you're actually bell ringing. So imagine you're pulling some bells and this is the movement. It's coming from there to there. This is where the work is being done. And squeeze and pull down. And take them as high as you can. Keep your arms as parallel with the floor as you can. And you'll be able to feel, I know I can, feel the muscle across your chest working as you do this and pull down, pull down, pull, pull, couple more, down, and last one, and then rest and sit up, sit with your legs crossed, and we're going to do some nice stretches now just to finish, so bring your arm across, just ease it, and relax, and the other one, hold on to the fleshy bit, not the elbow. Just ease it across. Just ease this over and rest. Take your hands forward and press your hands out so you're stretching your back. And then take the hands behind and stretch out your chest. It's a lovely feeling. And down, up to your ears with your shoulders and press down and really press those shoulders down towards the floor hold it there and relax well that's the end of this workout and if you do these exercises regularly you really will see the benefits now also take the time and trouble to have yourself properly measured for a correctly fitting bra it'll make all the difference so till the next time, goodbye. Hello and welcome to this video from my top to toe collection which I've specifically designed to give you a flatter tummy. We'll be working the main tummy muscle which runs from here to here and the muscles at either side which help to define our waistline. As it's important not to overdevelop one isolated area, I've also included some exercises for the back to help maintain the body's natural balance. You may find the first few times you do this workout that you can't complete all the repetitions. If so, just rest, let the tape continue, and then join in with me again when you feel ready. But however much or little you do, you must complete the stretch section at the end of the program to allow the muscles to fully recover. Now we're ready to begin. So let's get started and just step to the side, bring your feet in together and roll the shoulders as you go. Seven and eight, another eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now stepping to the side and one, two, and the other side. Now press down as you go. Twice more. One, two, back. And again. And last time. Now heel toe. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now twice with this foot. And the other one. Two, and the other. Two. And singles. Seven, 
Eight knee lifts. Press down and raise the knee. And up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And step, touch again. Two, three, four. Roll the shoulders. And travel. And press down as you go. Press. One more time. Now we'll do four heel toes. One, two, three, four. Other one. One, two, three, four. Do two. One, two. Other one. And again. And again. Singles. Eight of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And squat. And down. Make sure your knees bend over your feet. Down. Down. Tuck your bottom in. Now we're going to do a breaststroke with the movement. So bring your hand in. And round. And round. And round. Again. And round. Last one. Now side bend. Down, down. Down, down. Really curving the spine sideways. Two more. And two. Now bring your hands in front and twist. Here we go. And round to the side. Don't move your hips round and don't move your head round. It's just the arms and shoulders and the elbows. Two more. Down. Now step and touch. Three. Now increase the movement of the shoulders. So it's a nice big movement. Round. You can even imagine that you're brushing your hair. Nice big movement here. Now we're going to step to the side. So one, two, and press. Press. Now, four heel toes. Two, three, four. Other leg. One, two, three, four. Now, two. One, two. Other leg. And again. One, two, one. Now, alternately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one. Knee lift. Up. Two. Press down with the hands. with the arms. Take us up to the end. Lovely big move. It's really waking the body up ready for the other exercises we're going to be doing. Round. Round. And relax. Well done. Now let's prepare our body with some lovely stretches. So come up really tall. Stretch your fingers. And come down. Bring your hands onto your thighs and arch your spine. Pull your tummy in. Feel that lovely stretch across your back. It feels really good. Now come up. Meter apart. Hand on one hip. Bring the hand up. Palm facing upwards and the fingers pointing towards the corner of the room. And just feel this lovely stretch down here. And relax. And over to the other side. Reaching across as far as you can, a nice diagonal line. And down. Now bring your hands forward. Push your hands out. Knees are soft. And just push. And relax. Well done. Well, now that we're nicely warmed up, we can do our floor exercises. Now, if you're on a hard floor, you will need to use a mat. But if you've got a carpet, then you'll probably be all right. Bend your knees, feet about hip width apart, 
Slowly lower yourself down onto the floor. Now this is very important. Pull your spine right into the floor. Tummy pulled right in. Squeeze your buttocks and curve your pelvis forward. Now place your hands on the fronts of your thighs and we're going to come up in the count of one and go down in one. Get ready, here we go. Just raising your head and shoulders up and down. And up and down. We'll do it a bit quicker now. And up, down, up, down. Now initially start in this position. As you get stronger, you can place your hands across your chest like this and ultimately to the side of your head now the important thing here is that you breathe out as you come up and breathe in as you go down now some people find that it hurts at the back of their neck well if that's the case place your hand at the back of the neck and just support yourself a little bit last one and rest now roll over and lie on your front. Now place your hands underneath your shoulders and we're just going to curl backwards, raising our back and down. Now use your spine to raise you. We're going to do it in the count of two. So here we go. Up, two and down, two. You're only using your arms for a little bit of support and as you get stronger, you can aim to put your hands behind you and come up like that. But don't do that until you can do this very easily and your back is strong enough to help you to do it. Up, two, down, two, up. Very important to strengthen our back, particularly when we're trying to have a flatter tummy because it gives us a better posture and it all complements each other. Nearly finished. Up and down. And relax. Now roll over onto your back. Now we're going to do an exercise for the waistline. Keep your knees bent, feet hip width apart, spine poured into the mat, onto the floor, pelvis forward, hands down by your side and we're going to reach across with alternate hands. Across, back, across and across. Keep your hips into the floor, don't let them move and just reach across. Now only do as many as you feel you can. Do stop when you've done enough and then pick up the exercise when you've had a little rest. Now. When you get a bit stronger, you can make the exercise more difficult by putting your hand to the side of your head. But don't do that too early. Do it when you're ready. And last one. And relax. Now sit up, cross your legs. Now if you've got a pole handy, just pull it down behind your head and up and down. Now the important thing here is that you do actually pull it behind the head and feel the shoulders really working. And if you have got a pole, it will actually make sure that you do it properly. right. Pull your spine back into the floor, bring your knees up, hands down off the floor, palms facing upwards. Now we're actually working the lower part of the tummy, so using the lower part of your tummy muscle, try and just lift your hips off the floor. You won't come very far, but as you get stronger, you can straighten your legs and come up like that. But do take it gently, don't use your hands, you mustn't use your arms for support. It is this lower part of the abdomen that's working and it's very effective 
do persevere with it and it's the part that will really give you a flatter tummy and relax well done keeping in this position with your feet hip width apart knees bent pull your tummy right into the floor your spine absolutely flat we're going to take our hands forward we're going to come up for three and down in one remember to breathe out as you come up and breathe in as you go down here we go and one two three and down up two three and down up two three and down carry on doing this and remember that as you get stronger you'll be able to bring your hands up to this higher position up two three and back I'll go back to this position now another thing do remember that if it hurts your neck do remember to put your hand behind your neck to support you down one more two three and down and rest roll over onto your front place your hands underneath your chin rest your chin onto your hands bend both legs flex your feet and we're going to push both heels up towards the ceiling here we go up down up down Squeeze your buttocks as you do it and push, push, it's a very effective exercise and push, 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 only do as much as you can, don't strain, do you feel comfortable, last one and relax and roll over onto your back. Knees bent again, hands to your side, we're going across for three. One, two, three, and back. Across the other side, remember to keep your hips on the floor pressed in. Across, two, three, and back. This is for the waistline, three, and back. Really feel what it's doing around your waistline. Reach off over as far as you can, twisting around the waistline and rest. And roll over onto your side. Prop yourself up. Your elbow needs to go underneath your shoulder, your hand straight ahead. The other hand goes in front of you for support and your body is in a line. Take the top leg forward slightly. Make sure your hips stay in a line. And we're going to raise up our hips off the floor. Here we go. And up. Imagine you've got a piece of string on this hip here that's just lifting you up. And it's quite a strong movement. Only do what you can. If you can only do three the first time, that's fine. Just progress as you get stronger. Don't twist. Just raise up. It's quite hard work. It feels easy the first one. But it gets harder. Nearly finished. One more. And rest. Now roll over onto your back. Bend your knees. Hands down by your side. Raise your hips off the floor. And squeeze. And squeeze. Pull your tummy button into your spine and pull your pelvis forward. So it's a tilt. A tilt and a squeeze. And squeeze. 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 Now really see some movement your tummy so it curls up and 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 up and, up. and relax and go over to the other side roll over body in a straight line elbow underneath your shoulder hand in front of you, top leg goes forward, make sure you're in a line, hips forward there, and race, and race, race, remember that little bit of string through your hip bone attached to your ceiling that's lifting you up, so you can really make sure that you're working the right muscles.
Only do what you can, don't overdo it. Up, nearly finished. Up. One more. Up. And lie back. Bend your knees, hands down by your side. Get ready to lift and squeeze. And remember, tummy button in towards your spine. So tilt your pelvis forward. There's as much movement in your tummy as there is in your buttocks. So squeeze and tilt and squeeze. Let's carry on. Squeeze. Squeeze. Really get some movement. Squeeze. Squeeze. Nearly finished. And rest. Now we're going to do our stretches. So allow your knees to just drop down to one side. Keep your shoulders on the floor all the time and then take your hands to the opposite side from the legs. And slowly come up to the central position. Drop the knees to the other side and the hands the opposite way. Shoulders stay on the floor. Now slowly come up to the central position. Bring your knees up onto your chest, keep them together and ease them towards you. Feel the lovely stretch in your seat and slowly extend and stretch your arms and your legs. A lovely big stretch, feels so good. Bring your hands in and slowly roll over onto your front. Hands come underneath your shoulders, elbows in. Slowly curve upwards and stretch your tummy. Keep your arms on the floor all the time. And come up onto all fours. Hands underneath your shoulders and arch the spine. Arch it up as high as you can. Well, that's the end of our workout. Remember, a flatter tummy doesn't just make us look better, it actually helps our posture as well. So wherever you are, always remember to pull your tummy right in and really see and feel the difference. So see you next time. Mm -hmm.